Hi, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you a seashell discovery tray. This is really a great addition to a science center or a discovery center. You need to have a tray. We just use a large metal cookie sheet and you need to have some seashells. And believe it or not, I purchased these seashells at Walmart in the craft or the home decor aisle, um, kind of by where the potpourri, the candles, the vases, the beads that you put in the vases, around in that section. Um, they have bags of seashells. You can also purchase seashells from craft stores. Uh, you can purchase them online. So they're pretty readily available. If you plan ahead, um, you can you know, have some uh, seashells for your classroom or early learning environment. Another thing you can do is ask parents to bring in seashells, but the problem you might run into with that is the seashells themselves would or have the potential to become broken. Um, so um, it's pretty much up to you, you know, if that would be something you would like to do. If you cannot find seashells in your area, maybe ask parents if they have a collection they'd like to bring in for children to explore. Uh, for the seashell discovery tray, you need to have just the seashells, the tray, and then magnifying glasses for the exploration part. And um, you want to have a variety of seashells out on your tray, different sizes, different textures, uh, some different color. But you don't want to have too many out on the tray, but you want a nice selection from ch for children to choose from. And they would just pick up uh, the seashells. This is a nice shiny one. And one of the essentials is magnifying glasses in your science center. There's always so much you can do and just really brings um, the details up close to children. They can look inside and uh, try to imagine with the inhabitant that once lived in here and um, they can feel the seashells. We do talk about before we start um, the discovery tray about being gentle and picking up gentle and putting down gentle because we want to take care of these. Um, there's all, this one right here is just really a favorite of the children because it's spiky. So they try to imagine what that would be. Um, over here is a nice big one. Turn it around, you can look inside and, and just take your magnifying glass. And once the children have had a chance to explore, uh, we have a writing and drawing activity that we do with the seashells. The children would draw a picture of what their favorite seashell from the tray was and then um, write about what they liked about it or what they thought was cool about it. Younger children, um, you could certainly dic they could dictate to you and you could write that down for them by the picture that they drew. So there's a variety of things you can do with this, but seashells is just really a, a really neat way. If you have a seashell theme, under the ocean theme, um, under the sea theme of bringing um, life into your classroom by having real life objects in, involved in your theme and for children to really touch and feel. I mean, it's one thing to see pictures or um, of these, but to really touch and feel them is just really a great addition to your classroom, your early learning environment. For a seashell discovery tray, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com, and thanks for watching.